Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. That's Dustin. That's me. And he's Keith. Dustin's our bourbon guy. I'm kind of the the music guy-ish. Oh, I like bourbon. He does. He likes bourbon a lot. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah. We've been over that. Yeah. So, you see the red wax? Tell, to, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's trademarked. Maker's mark. Could be a patent. Pretty sure it is. Uh, so we got a, a new Maker's Mark. This is one of their private selects. We've been over kind of what that means in a past video. I'll do super brief on this one. So private select means that uh, somebody's gone in, bought a barrel. Selected the wood staves that, that get dropped into that barrel. That they age for some additional amount of time. Uh, this one has a cool name kind of the reason I bought it but actually it wasn't the place I got it from was like hey you need to get this bourbon it's really good the name is also cool though it's a campfire fist punch wait stop it wait this sounds somewhat like an anime superpower oh come on ha ha you will never defeat me I will give you my campfire fist punch ha ha since when does anime ever had anything to do with the campfire? Just what it sounds like. The fist bunch. Pretty sound. It also, yeah, it is pretty sound. Also sounds potentially like a uh, sexual technique. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Well, look, tell Google what, it. Tell Google it and tell us what no. you find. Okay, not safe for work. <laughs> Uh, tell us what you think campfire fist punch means. Yeah, yeah give, us, give us some definitions. It made me think of, uh, it made me think of five finger death punch. Well, I mean, but, so, uh, so far we've got potential anime superpower. That's you. Sex possible <laughs> sexual technique. And maybe that feeling you get after you get in a fight drunk around the campfire. Now that I can get behind. That's okay. So maybe that. Maybe that one. So well, as far as tunes go. Well, we didn't really talk about the campfire fist punch outside the name. So super quick. 108 proof. More. Uh, again, from Maker's Mark. It's a September 2020 drop for that. Uh, so it was last year. I got it in Ohio somewhere. Um. Yeah, it's got so, a great nose. Let's see what uh, what are we listening to? What you say? So you guys have requested since we did that first Carrie Underwood tent. Yeah, you guys have requested a lot more Carrie Underwood. Was she the one that if he cheats? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where she, where she beat the shit out of that Dodge truck? truck. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Poor truck. Oh. <laughs> Um, so we have decided, because uh, we've also done a couple of Martina McBride songs now, we really wanted to see Martina live, and we did, and it blew our socks off. Um, yeah. So Broken we're doing lead. Carrie live. Yeah, with Luda, Chris. With Luda, yeah, which... Luda! Chris? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, You're a dad, aren't you? All right, let's hear, let's hear it. Shut up. Let's play the song. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to check out the live version, which I think is always a good way to see. And this is the champion? The champion. Yeah. Um, I think live is always a good way to kind of separate the studio wonks from the people with real talent. So, I, I, Not that I would accuse Carrie of not having talent, good lord. Well, she won like America's Got... No, American Idol, which is like America's Got Talent before that existed. Yeah, so, yeah, she's... She's got pipes, we know that, so let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! 
she was a tough flat there for a second. This is country pop. Very. All your people watching all the TV. You go ahead and put your bets on me. I've been waiting my whole life to see my name. For the courage I possess through the drama. Ain't just for the hurt, but it's all for the honor. A is for my attitude, working through the patience. Money comes and goes, so the M is for motivation. Gotta stay consistent, the P is to persevere. The I is for integrity, innovative career. The O is optimistic, open and never shut. And the N is necessary, cause I'm never giving up. See, they ask me how I did it, I just did it from the heart. Person the competition, been doing it from the start. They say that every champion is all about his principles. Carry! probably won't get this but I think a lot of them will that's a no for me dog so I had some observations or some thoughts yeah but first let's let's hear why why is that a no for you so we're gonna get all kinds of thumbs down I understand but hey we're doing what you get what you get you get what you get man and we're gonna be we're gonna be real you know, I could see how this song would be like, it could be like an anthem for some people, right? Get them hyped up, even maybe even a good workout song, right? But I, I just, it, it was a note for me, dog. <laughs> dog. Do you know what that's from? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm, I'm really sad that I know what that's from. <laughs> it fits. I am so sorry. It fits. She was on American Idol. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> All right, All right. so um, I, I could have done without Ludacris. I definitely agreed with that. I think Ludacris det detracted from the song in a big way. Yeah. And another thing that I noticed that Carrie's fans are not going to be happy about, objectively, she was flat. A lot of that song. Several points in that song. Yeah, there were there were a few times where she belted it out, and I was like, okay, that was good. The, yeah. Oh, man, she, she nailed it a few times, but... Yeah. I mean, maybe this was an off night for her. 
that's entirely you know, everybody's got I mean that place. that was a big ass production. It was huge, right? Which was, was Disney something at one point there were a lot what like 50 freaking people on stage. And or? sadly, I f- <sighs> this is going to I'm sorry. You're going to be mad. It's okay. Well, we'll you'll, you'll get over it. I felt like when the chorus, like the 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 choir in the background came it sounded better. Well, Okay, so we've kind of shit on the song a little bit. I think I it's wanna, the performance. I want to flip. It could have been just the environment. Yeah. I want to flip around and, and kind of talk about what I think was positive about the song. Let's hear it. So the positive part of the song was the vibe. Yeah. So, and I imagine the studio version drives that vibe a lot better. Probably. Um, and maybe live without all this crap around her and ludicrous ruining the song, ruining the song for her. Yeah. Um, e- even then, maybe that helps drive the vibe. Fair, but, fair point. But the vibe that kind of comes across in a much lesser way is pretty much the same one from Queen's We Are the Champions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's it's kind of like a good workout song. Now I'm gonna tell you, you play that back to back with this Carrie Underwood song, and she doesn't hold a candle to Freddie Mercury in this performance. Agreed. And e- even take a Freddie Mercury live from Live Aid and play it, and he would blow her off the stage. Yeah, sadly. Um, but I actually did enjoy that vibe. Yeah, I get that. They're they're you know. You mentioned like a workout song, or you know, you know, I, I could see like I could, while I'm, you know, yeah, if you're working out on a bag, yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost like a like a, um, so I got Eye of the Tiger and then this. Nothing beats Eye of the Tiger for punching a bag, right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> if you ever seen Rocky, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, uh, okay, I mean, this was an okay song, sure, I mean. It probably wouldn't make me change the station if it popped on the radio. I'm listening, and it to. may be better on the radio. It, it may be, you know, if this this came on the, my channel, and you know, I'd probably I'd probably just listen to it through, wouldn't skip it or whatever. Yeah, you know, but uh, so it was an okay song. But I think a lot of this performance, a lot of the elements of this performance, distracted from the quality of the song. You're probably not wrong. I could see that. Yeah. What do you think of this uh, bourbon here, sir? Have you even tried it yet? I don't think I have. I've nosed it. So it doesn't feel like taking a straight right next to a campfire. My jaw you, doesn't hurt. Is that what you were expecting? Nose isn't bleeding. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Bourbon does that. You probably should put it down. Step away. <laughs> but it is 108 proof. 108.5. Almost 109. I think it tastes it. Huh? It's a little smooth. It's pretty smooth. I think it tastes 108 proof. What kind of notes are you getting? I need to go at it again. Do it. I don't get campfire, mm. which is surprising. I do. I do uh, at the beginning of the finish. I know it sounds like it's a kind contradiction. Of like the beginning of the end? Yes. So I, I get a lot of cinnamon up front, and I do love me the cinnamon. Um, there's a flash of bitter. And then I get kind of that smoke, and then the finish is almost caramel. I get a chocolatey, I get a chocolatey, like a dark cocoa, smoky, again, smoke, smoky cocoa finish. Okay, I, I, could, I could accept that. Almost, oh, s'mores. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, graham crackers and chocolate, man. Yeah. Yeah. So they should have named this s'mores. They have a s'mores already. It's probably the same shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the, so, a, look, I have not had 
I don't think one of these uh, private selects private selects that I didn't enjoy. They're generally they're, pretty good, and they're all radically different. True. Uh, from one bottle to the next, you know these stave combinations. The I think they're one by six, or hell, maybe they're not one by six. They're like a quarter by six. They're big pieces of wood they put in a barrel. Yeah, they drop down drop down in the barrel really changes the flavor and they use different woods and they might be charred they may not um a lot of different combinations generate all these crazy flavors this one's good they're they've all been good i've not had a bad one this is probably one of my favorites though really this has some really good flavors in it there was something they had like grandpa's balls or something like that grandpa's toddy I think Grandpa's Toddy, probably not Grandpa's Balls. <laughs> Grandpa's Toddy, that was my favorite. <laughs> you like Grandpa's Balls? I don't know. Never sampled them. <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> I can't. Oh. Uh. Never I, I broke the, Dustin. Your response is I've never sampled them. <laughs> I broke Dustin. Oh my god! So, well, yeah. I haven't. <laughs> Good <laughs> for him. Probably for Poor me Grandpa, too. rest in peace. <laughs> god. So. Yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, regardless of your opinion on Grandpa's Balls, give, <laughs> give or, or the song, give, give us a like, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't give us a thumbs down. Don't be a troll. Don't do not do that. But do talk to us in the comments. Yep, chew us out in the comments. Well, chew him out for licking Grandpa's Balls. <laughs> Did not do that. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, but we will interact with you. Uh, let us know what to listen to. Give us some ideas for what to drink. All these songs that we're listening to are your suggestions. Every one of them. I didn't dig this one. Maybe you did. You know, you're going to get a natural reaction from me. It's real. Same uh, here. But. Yeah. So, yep. Hit us a uh, hit like. Hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications, and we will see you next time. See you.